Hey what's up guys, finally the official Android 4.4.2 KitKat has arrived for the Galaxy Note 2 and 7 100. So this is for the international variant, soon you will be getting the OTA update but if you are impatient like me and want to install it manually, this is the tutorial you need to follow. Ok so first hit link 1 from the description. That will take you to this page, download Samsung keys and install it on your computer. This is necessary for the drivers. Once done, hit link 2 from the description and download the official KitKat firmware. So guys, this firmware is released for Russia but this is totally safe to install, no matter where you live. This will not void your warranty and you will not lose any of your apps and data. And from the link 3, you can download the PC Odin, download the Odin zip file and extract it. You will be getting these files. And uh, again, you can go ahead and extract the firmware file that you have downloaded. So after extracting this, you will get the .tar.md5 file. Coming to the Note 2, as you can see, I'm on a custom ROM. Even if you are rooted, you can install this ROM, but you will lose the root access and it does not matter whatever ROM you are coming from. And remember guys, your phone must have 50% of battery left before installing this firmware. Once done, turn off your device. Once the device is off, hold the volume down, power and the home button at the same time until you see this. So once you are on the download mode, hit volume up to continue. And now you need to connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable and leave it connected. On your PC, launch PC Odin, hit yes and here you must see this IDCOM tab blue. If this is not blue that means your drivers are not installed correctly. Try uninstalling and reinstalling the Samsung keys that will probably fix the issue. Now hit PDA and go to wherever you have the extracted file of the firmware. So for me it's inside the 4.4.2 folder, the .tar file, select it and hit open. Leave rest of the settings as it is on this PC Odin and hit start. So guys this will take some time, just be patient and I will be back with you once this is done. Once it says pass, you can unplug your phone from your PC and wait for your phone to boot back. So guys, we have successfully installed the official KitKat firmware and none of my apps are deleted. So first let's just go on to settings. Ok weird we don't get the new settings layout that we have seen with the Galaxy S5. Let me just show it to you. Ok so let's just quickly go on to about phone and there you go guys we are now running the official Android 4.4.2 KitKat. So guys I was expecting some UI changes that I have seen with the Galaxy S5. And as you can see, even the notification toggles, app drawer, new unlock effect are missing from the Galaxy S5. So little disappointed here. And even the one-handed operation is limited to certain apps on the Note 2. We cannot shrink the whole display like on the S5 and the Note 3. That's sad. So yeah, that's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This is just to show you that how you can install the official KitKat firmware. 
Feel free to leave your comments if there's anything you want to ask. Stay tuned and you guys have a great time.